back in Monaco, Monte Carlo, my brother. Bet you're wondering how I have a friend 6,000 miles away in Monaco. Well, let's rewind a year. Actually, let's rewind two years. I was creeping Instagram one day and I came across this tuxedo jacket and I commented, that jacket? The company that created it was 209 Mare and they responded to my comments so I slid in their DMs and tried to get one for free like every asshole influencer does. A lot of companies send me stuff. I wanted this for a while. This is how I found this company. It's a beach tuxedo jacket. So the deal was I would post some Instagram stories as well as a photo on my Instagram tagging 209 Mare. I was invited to attend a yacht party in St. Bart's. I wore the jacket to the party and received a ton of compliments. People were even thanking me for having them. They thought I owned the yacht. Face to face now. Man, you should come down to the Monaco Grand Prix this summer. I would love to, man. I've never been. I want you to be my guest and, uh, and come and meet the rest of the team and all the people involved in our project. Oh, amazing. Let's do it. I have a place you can stay at and everything. This was the first time we had ever spoken on the phone. A guy I had never met inviting me to a place I had never been. So naturally, I said yes. So I showed up in Monaco, watched the race, partied my ass off, and made a lifelong friend. Guys, that's it for Monaco. Say goodbye to my brother, Federico. Look at the lunch Zach made for us today from Sugo Sunday. Sugo Sunday, baby, from <laughs> scratch. <laughs> All right, buddy. I love you. Thank I you love you, baby. Baby. It's been Take a pleasure. Care, Ciao. Ciao. Till next year. Oh, fuck. So a year later, I went back to Monaco, but not to see the Grand Prix because it was fucking canceled, but to see my buddy, Federico. Look at this pretty baby. face, baby. Look at this service. Five stars. Yeah, the, the view is epic. Woo wee! You look good, Daniel. Now that that's out of the way, let's go explore Monaco. This time, Monaco was a lot different. No Formula One craziness, just us and the locals. Well. At least I'm here. Okay, so this is the famous Monte Carlo Casino here. You gotta A, have your passport, B, you gotta be dressed appropriately. Here is the famous Hotel du Paris. See this restaurant here? Le Louis Ducasse. Three Michelin star restaurants. During race weekend, the bill was 1,200 euros a head. I just wanted McDonald's. Fucking spent all my money there. First day I was here. Large. Yeah, extra large. Now Federico works on 209 Mare every second he can, which ultimately left us with a lot of free time to explore Monaco and basically eat like shit. Pretty good. Why are you wearing your mask? This guy's driving like he's from Le, uh, Leclerc. Uh. When he was finished working for the day, Fetty would pick us up, drive us around, and give us the exclusive tour of Monaco. Super hidden. No way. Yeah. Really cool. Yeah. Monaco is the size of Central Park in New York. It also has the third most expensive real estate in the entire world, and over 30% of the population are millionaires. That's large. We literally came from over there. 10 minutes ago. You never get fat in Europe because all you do is walk everywhere. <laughs> Seriously, you can eat everything you want. Pasta, pizza, bread. In America, you do this, you can 800 pounds. Now we have dinner, I've already walked off everything. Yeah. 13,000 steps. I think in LA, on average, I have three steps to my kitchen, to my car. So we're uh, off to work today. This is amazing because I don't even work in LA, so. You should come here more often. <laughs> we're gonna go to his office today. I'm gonna show you guys a bunch of the stuff he's been working on, which I'm excited to see. Because uh, it's been a year since I've like been kind of in your office, right? Yeah, but this is a new office because uh, we moved out of the apartment slash office. Now we actually have a professional <laughs> real office with the actual real people working in it. At least someone's doing good in 2020. Fetty's one of the hardest working guys I've ever met in my entire life. He takes such pride in the quality of his product and it shows. Even through an Instagram photo that I spotted two That's years ago. Like, oh, I like that. Check, check the Supima cutlets. Wow. They're doing like these inside toweling sweaters, like t shirt type stuff. Where do you make all your stuff? Everything comes from Italy, and then it gets made in Romania or Portugal. 
looks like pajama collared polo shirt. I like those cream colored jackets on the Yeah, dude, those are so badass. So, yeah, these, these are some of the like new Mexico collections. So, this is like velvet with the cream color. We use 50 or 52. Right now, you. <laughs> <laughs> I like the blue. Is that the blue? Yeah. When you put on a 209 Mate jacket, you instantly feel like a million bucks. I've worn it on yachts, I've worn it to the beach, I've worn it to pools, and I've even worn it to your mom's house. You're large. The other one, I look, you can tell it was a bodybuilder in the other oh, hey, Look, it matches your eye. That's very nice. Uh, it fits you well. Tell us about how you came up with the name. The date, it's the 20th of September. I had an accident five years ago. I was super drunk at a party. So unlike you. Uh -huh, I know. <laughs> so unlike it was, really, it was really unlike me at the time, especially. I went to smoke a cigarette outside, and the balcony collapsed, and I fell into a parking lot from the third floor. I almost died, right? Oh, no, I'm partially retarded. Your intelligence improved? I think so. <laughs> I think How did the whole clothing thing start? So we were down in Chile with a friend of mine. We were at a, at a lunch. It was by the, by the sea, and it was really cold. One of you guys came out like a bathrobe that was like stolen from like a Four Seasons. Yeah. They threw it on for lunch. It actually really made sense to have this like functional towel fabric. It's cozy, you're sitting by the by the table, it's sort of if you can turn that into something much more elegant, you can make a blazer out of it. And that's how we came up with this idea. But like when did you know like this is the business you wanted to make? <laughs> I still don't know. <laughs> I, still, I, I, I love this fashion brand and everything that this uh, industry like represents but uh, my family's been in fashion for 70 years and so I think it's a really good niche right now to put in something that's in a way you're also working from home that you can be sort of business casual but comfortable so uh, you can sort of see, see these trends and it's really uh, fascinating uh, industry and now I don't know it just became a way of life we're doing some art direction today yeah. We're doing some photo shoots on 209 Mare. Casting couch today. Oh, this looks sick. That goes with the casting director. <laughs> so we left the 209 Mare headquarters and went off in Monaco to capture some content like the influencer that I am. The size of this fucking thing. That's what she said. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Love this place. Sick, eh? Prince Albert II is the reigning prince of Monaco, and from the ground you can see his palace. So naturally, I made Federico take me there. This is the view. Large. What part of town is this? Is like by the palace? Prince is expecting me. This is actually so beautiful, this part of town. Oh, it's beautiful. We've been hiding this from me the whole time. Check into my new Airbnb. What do you guys think? It's pretty cute. This area, they can't construct anymore. So it's basically like all protected. But you can only drive up here if you have like certain license plates. So you don't get like any fucked up like traffic. Actually, every time we come here, I stand down there on the ground and look up here and always wonder what it was like up here. I finally made it. Mom, we made it. All ocean and they constructed it. Really? So it was like man made. Yeah. I don't even know this part of Monaco existed. Yeah. Oh, these places look like an old movie set or something. It's so beautiful. It's like crazy. Yeah, honestly. I was gonna have my uh, wedding in Capri and I guess I'll have my divorce here. <laughs> It was our last day in Monaco and I had to go pick up a rental car because we had plans to head to Saint Tropez the next morning. Just checked into the Hotel Metropole in Monaco, guys. This room is gorgeous. Five star hotel, extra large. Alright, guys, I'm headed over to the Metropole pool right now. It's actually designed by Karl Lagerfeld. It's like next level. Beautiful. Extra large. It was our last night in Monaco, so I decided it would be a good idea to take advantage of Hotel Metropole's amenities before heading to the Last Supper. Happy birthday, dear Daniel. Happy birthday to you. Hey. <laughs> 
<laughs> whoa, whoa, COVID, COVID, COVID. Speech, speech, speech. Thanks for nothing. Speech. <laughs> well, I want a proper artist. Give a speech. Give the Peter speech. Okay, I just want to thank you for accommodating us, Miho. So hospitable. It's a pleasure to see you from another country, and another place, and another space. Even though you're from Toronto, and it's a pleasure to meet you. And thanks for this, guys. I'll go fuck myself. It's I cool. Can't, I can't say enough. <laughs> Thank you, Zach. I'll go fuck with Zach. Letting me join him on his venture. <laughs> it's been an absolute pleasure. Always. Like, Wait, it's the best day it. ever. <laughs> Is it not dreamy? Is it good? Okay. Yeah. By the way, it wasn't actually my brother's birthday. He was just always complaining that we never ordered dessert. So, we ordered dessert. Happy birthday. <laughs> and after dinner, in typical Fetty fashion, we went straight to the clubs. Say bye. <laughs> Monaco, we did it. We're in you, we're out of you. Hotel Metropole, thank you for everything. You guys have been amazing. We're off to Saint Tropez with this babe. Au revoir à tout le monde. And that's all for this year's trip to Monaco, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And check out 209 Mare on Instagram and their website. Buy one of their jackets. Be large, and I'll see you guys in Saint Tropez.